Hi, welcome to a quick tip on how to add a webmaster to your AWS services with Amazon. There are many services in Amazon that may be a little confusing, and especially because some of these services actually cost money. There are fees attached to them. So multiple users may also be considered something that has a fee attached to it, and many other services on the internet requires a fee per user. But in the case of AWS, there is no extra fee to set up more users, more administrators, technical administrators, and admins. So here's the way to do it. It's under all services. There are a lot of services. But under security, identity, and compliance, there is something called IAM, where you can manage the user access and encryption keys. So click that. Under IAM, you'll notice a bunch of warnings if you haven't set up all these other things. But as you can see, the security status is that you should set up individual users. That is the way to go. I have not set up anything because I'm going to show you the best practice. And that is the first thing from above is groups. So I recommend creating a new group. This one you should create as minimum. And I call, I would call this webmasters. And I'll click next step. And then I will just do administrator access. So this is a top level access. There's lots of different other defined access policies here where you can get access to specific um, parts of the services of your account to an individual or a group of people. But in this case, we'll just do the administrator access that gives quite a good amount of technical access. And then the group has been created. There's no users attached to it, so let's go to users. Let's add a user. And let's put in the username as the email address. You can do whatever you want, but this is the easier way to remember. So you can add multiple users at a time. I'm going to give management console access here. And programmatic access on top of allows you to sign into the management console. And I'm going to auto-generate a password. And I'm going to make it so the user has to reset the password when they log in the first time. Next, for permissions, then give them the administrator access. Scroll down, click Next. And it gives you an overview of what you're doing. And then we just create the user. And we have a successful, so there's a secret access key that you can give to them. And there's a password here that you can send to them. But really what they need is this password. Because what we're going to do here is we can send an email. So I'm creating an email here. I'm going to send it from myself to myself. But it inputs the correct URL. And with this URL, they will pre populate a field so they don't have to. To make sure that they have the right console access. So it says that your initial sign in pass will be provided separately from this email. So I recommend texting it to the person, for example, would be a good way of doing it. And the password is right here. So make sure you copy that and send it to your person, your technical admin, and send this off, send the email. And the email should be provided, and the password, you copy and paste it, or you type it into a text message and send it to your technical administrator. And that's it. Now we can go back and see that it will remember the history where you were, and it will now say you can now see you create an individual IAM, IAM user and user group to assign permissions. And now we're just waiting for this person to log in. Well, thank you for watching this short tip on how to add a user to your AWS administration console.